Hello everybody, my name is Walter and today I want to show you how I can build my simple splitting 4x4 double wall door. So this is effectively a pretty standard 4x4 double wall door. So as you can see, it looks the same from each side. But the main difference to my normal 4x4s is that when it opens, it splits along the middle and completely retracts towards the left and the right. No retraction towards the top or bottom which means that there is also no circuitry at the top and the only circuitry at the bottom is the connection line from the buttons to the two sides so if you don't have much space in the vertical directions to your doorway but uh, in the horizontal this might be the door for you also i think this splitting and fusion from the sides really looks quite unusual and quite interesting but anyway, with that out of the way, let's talk about the sizes. So the door is just three blocks long, five blocks if you count the front and the back wall. It's eight blocks high and 14 blocks wide. And if you want to build it exactly as I will show you in this tutorial, you're going to need building blocks, then eight immovable blocks. I'm using obsidian blocks here, six slime blocks and six honey blocks. Then 18 redstone dust, 10 torches, 6 repeaters, 8 observers, 8 normal pistons, 12 sticky pistons, and 2 buttons. And with that out of the way, let's show you how to build in this door here. Okay, so the first step is marking the center of your doorway with 4 immovable blocks in a row at the bottom and at the top. So as you can see here, I have 4 obsidian blocks down there, and with a 4 high gap, another 4 up here. Once we have marked it out, it's time to go to the bottom row, one towards the front and two down. And that's where we need a row of 10 blocks sent along the middle axis. So we essentially go three out from each side of the middle row, like this here. This will be our power line, so just run some wire on top. And now you can already place your buttons if you want. Um, remember, this is the middle of the door and this is the outer ring of the door. So the first point where you can actually place your buttons would be if you want to get to the center there. So just place a block there and connect it with some wire down there. If you want to have the same at the back, just remember to keep that little distance there and add just some wire at the back there. Okay, so this is pretty much the entire middle part done. Now it's time for the sides. The sides are built the same way, just mirrored, and where you use honey blocks on the left side, you need to use slime blocks on the right side, and vice versa. Those are the only real differences. If you don't flip that around, uh, you will notice that the door won't open due to the sides sticking together. Anyway, let's start with the right side. So, first, place a block in front of this wire. Then, grab a torch, place it on the side of that. Block on top, torch on top. Block towards the back with a repeater on two ticks on top, running into a full block. Then around this corner, we need a lowered block with a redstone cross on top. Then grab two sticky pistons, place them like this. In this position here, we need a observer powering upwards, directly into another sticky piston. Then I'll start with honey blocks. You could also use the slime blocks, doesn't really matter. Two in front of the sticky pistons and one on top of the outer one. So. Then let's go back to this point here, place a block on top, torch on top, block on top, and another torch on top and to the back. Put a block on top of that one and to the front with some redstone dust on top. Then grab two observers, place them powering downwards on the inside of those two blocks here. And then on top of each, uh, repeat on three ticks like this here and below them place full blocks then we more or less mirror this part down here so we start with two sticky pistons as you can see here so two high gap to the sticky pistons down here then observer powering downwards this time at the top and another stick piston at the bottom and now again this of three slime blocks this time so as you can see i'm alternating between honey and slime blocks so those won't stick together then grab 
normal pistons and place them on each side as you can see here and then all that's left is actually filling in this side here and well why were there also the bottom and the top that's missing now let's give it a little test run and i forgot those little corner blocks there and if we power the buttons again the door opens so this is pretty much finished now it's time to just mirror it and again just flip around where honey and slime blocks are placed and voila so now as you can see i have built up both sides they work just as they are supposed to and with that the last part is adding a few more walls and well finishing up the entire build and here we go so as you can see additionally to adding just in some walls i also decided to add a bit of a light source in the middle there which looks quite nice if i may say so but Anyway, with that we have reached the end of this tutorial for my splitting 4x4 double bolt door. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and well, see ya!